So hi folks, this is my um, tortoise indoor setup. It's a six foot by four foot aluminium framed polycarbonate greenhouse. It's built onto a timber frame, four by two. And I've got timber planks around the edges so the tortoises can't see out and they can't barge their way out. They're just in here now. It's the middle of October, more or less, and they're just they're just in here prior to hibernation. They're eating well, actually. There's Terry on the right and Nelson on the left. They're both Herman's tortoises. They're just tucking into their breakfast of a Roman lettuce. So Nelson's eating away there. He's happy. They're eating well, actually. Terry's spotted me now. He wants to get out. They're normally in a big outdoor run. So this is just like I say for when the weather's not very nice in the autumn and early spring. We have a lamp in there that gives that nice bit of warmth under there. That's like one of those ones you get from the farm shops actually. Use it for chicks, for chick and duckling rearing. That's on a timer. And they've got a sleeping box there with just like a little heat mat in there. Water bowl. And we've got an arbutin on for a little bit of greenery. There's not a lot on the ground because they trash everything. They're a bit like mini bulldozers. But like I say, this is not there not their main run this is just the uh the, the, the like i say the early spring autumn and when the weather's miserable if you're having a bit of a bad summer they can come in here and carry on being active so yeah these greenhouses are pretty good actually i got this greenhouse off ebay like i said it was 200 pounds it's six foot by four foot it's about the cheapest one you can get actually but it's pretty robust actually like i said i screwed it down on a timber frame which i made myself got to get these things level otherwise you've been in hell trying to get all the panes in but yeah that's it it's all right actually it's not a bad bit of kit should last a few years um yeah so i recommend these if you're on a bit of a budget i can use it for growing tomatoes in as well but yeah it's not for the faint hearted when it comes to assembly though it's like a mega meccano kit every time i try to put it up it started raining but we got there in the end it's got a little sliding door. If you can afford a glass one, the glass ones are probably much better and a bit more robust. But yeah, this is cool. This is all right for what it is. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Cool. Cheers then. Hope that uh, gives someone some ideas on uh, this kind of enclosure.